Hi, my name is Keith, and today we are talking about um, checking your test equipment. This is the Y'all Springs Vintage Audio Channel, and uh, I am a, a hobbyist. I repair and align, calibrate, adjust uh, vintage tape decks, cassette, reel to reels, and turntables. Um, one of the concerns is always when I'm making a measurement with my test equipment, can I trust that measurement? Um, if I have over 15 years experience working in a calibration lab, so I know the importance of getting your test equipment calibrated. I also know, though, the cost of getting your test equipment calibrated. And it's a cost that, as a, a hobbyist, um, I can't really justify it. Uh, ju justify it. But I, I still want to try and make the most accurate measurements as I can. So rather than send my equipment off to get calibrated, I thought that maybe what I should do is see if I can find a calibration source, um, something that has a, a calibrated voltage on it, a calibrated resistance on it, um, uh, the multiple frequencies. And I, I searched the internet, I found a couple of different options, and the one I thought was the best was the one um, that was called the DMM check plus and this is what uh, we're really going to talk about today so the DMM check is plus is made by a company of the same name based in Wake Forest uh, North Carolina and it consists of uh, this box with uh, different um, calibration sources on it there's a, a AC and DC voltage source uh, with a nominal value of 5 volts, uh, AC and DC current source with a nominal value of 1 milliamp. There are four different uh, values of resistors. There are four different values of inductors and four different values of capacitors. And all the, the exact values, um, the calibrated values, are listed on the calibration certificate, which I'll show you here in a moment. So um, the options that I added was this uh, LC board that has the inductors and capacitors. And I also added an option that has two AC frequencies. Uh, I think in, uh, by default it comes with a, uh, a 1 kHz frequency. Uh, I'm not sure about that, but I opted for a 400 Hz and a 10 kHz frequency because those are the two frequencies that are most important for aligning cassette decks. So I wanted to make sure that when I check my meters, um, just to check their accuracy, five volts I do it at both 400 hertz and also at uh, 10 kilohertz. And I can do that with this. Um, so I use this um, before I do any alignment. I will check my meters with the, the voltage so sources. If I'm um, going to be measuring current, for some reason I check the, the, the current meter against the, the current sources. The same with uh, the resistors. Um, I check my, uh, my meter against the, the exact values of the resistors. Uh, DMM Check Plus uh, did not endorse this video. They, they, um, they didn't supply this to me. I bought this with my own money. I've had it for a year and I use it regularly. And in fact, I'm getting ready to send it off in the next week to be recalibrated. When you purchase the item for the first two years, you can get it recalibrated for um, zero cost other than uh, shipping to and from. Uh, after two years, I, I think it costs $40 plus shipping to and from, um, which is 
-hmm. just much, much, much less than what it would cost to send off uh, a meter to a calibration, certified calibration lab. Now this will not, doesn't replace the calibration, but uh, just from my experience, I can tell you that if a meter, like a digital multimeter, um, if it is good at intolerance or well intolerance at, at one test point, then chances are if the other ranges are functioning, then it would probably be intolerance on those other ranges too. So if, if your basic instrument seems to be functioning and it's intolerance at say the, the frequency or the, uh, the voltage or the current, then chances are um, the other ranges of that same function would be uh, good too. So uh, let me show you what the calibration certificate looks like. Okay, so you should be able to see this. So over here we have uh, the data was calibrated, uh, the serial number of the DMM Check Plus, um, the number of hours, burn in hours during manufacture before they performed the calibration. In this case, they, they burned it in, they ran it for 885 hours before they actually performed the calibration. The temperature at calibration was 72 degrees. These are all the, the parameters that they, the, the parameter name or the nominal value that are on the board. And then these are the exact value of uh, those components. So what you would do then is uh, say the, the five volt DC, you, you would configure it, you take your multimeter, you hook it up, and there's the five volt DC, and you see the, the the 5 volt DC actually uh, it was 5.0000 volts. So if your uh, voltmeter is reading 5.0011, then it's 1.1 uh, millivolts off. And so then you could look at it and look at the specs on your meter and determine if that is in or out of tolerance. So that's what it's used for. Uh, it, it's very good for that, and I use that uh, before every I start any alignment. Um, I run my equipment um, where appropriate against the values of the DMM Check Plus and verify my equipment uh, indications against the actual calibrated values of the components. So, I hope that um, you found that interesting. It, is, it really, really helped, it's helped me a lot. And uh, it's given me confidence that my measurements are, are accurate. Um, and I hope it can do the same thing for you. If you like this kind of content, then uh, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, give me a thumbs up, that really helps. Remember that the best way to keep your vintage audio equipment working is to use it regularly. Thank you and uh, take care.